tools. They're an essential part of any maker space, but they can get pretty expensive and very unique at times. So what if you could 3D print them? Now the first 3D printed tool that we're gonna be trying out are clamps. This is a regular real life clamp. This one specifically costs about $28 versus my 3D printed one, which costs about 70 cents to a dollar, depending on how big you make it. I actually designed this double C clamp with two screws on the end so you can kind of adjust and also change out these little adjustable pads. So like if you need a bigger surface, you could just grab this bigger pad and attach it right on there. And you could even make these out of TPU for greater friction, which I don't have TPU at the moment, but this company has made TPU or rubber like ends so that it increases the friction when it clamps on a surface. Now to demonstrate how this clamp works, kind of just keep uh, pressing this trigger until the, the case is closed. This is a glasses case that usually is open, but this clamp is obviously holding it closed and it's a very strong clamp, but I'd say the only downside is the actual price because it's $28. And my 3D printed one can also do the same. I'm gonna change it out real quick for the bigger pads. And it can also clamp onto the surface as well. You just gotta screw one of them out. And it holds the glasses case pretty well. So I'd say that this 3D printed solution is actually pretty good. Now, obviously, is it gonna be as strong as this man-made or like tool specific clamp? Obviously not, but I think it's pretty strong. And like for most uses, for what you use a clamp for, it gets the job done and you can make it even bigger or stronger. And if you use TPU, it'll be even better. We're gonna leave it linked in the description in our Maker World account. So the next tool we have are utility knives. This is a 3D printed one, and this is a regular utility knife. And the cool thing about this 3D print is that it actually utilizes a real blade. And obviously, as you guys know, utility knives cut things. This one cuts things pretty well, and so does this one. They even cut this one right in half. The 3D print, I actually think, is even better than the utility knife because the utility knife doesn't have a built-in safety feature like this 3D printed one. When you use a utility knife, you usually leave it open like this and you have to manually bring it back. Now, that can be pretty dangerous because if you leave it out like this and leave it on a table on a surface that people like to put their hands on, they might cut themselves by putting their hand on it. But this 3D printed knife actually automatically retracts the blade as soon as you're done using it. I actually think this 3D print is much better because it's also cheaper than the utility knife. This utility knife costs around five to six dollars. And this 3D print costs about 40 cents to print and the blade costs about 20 cents. So it's a total of 60 cents. So I'd recommend you actually print this instead of actually buying a utility knife. We didn't actually make this 3D print. The creator of this 3D print is Linus 3D on Maker World. And we're gonna leave his link in the description. So the next 3D printed tool, I actually don't even have the real life tool. It's a radius gauge. This is what it looks like and it costs somewhere around seven to eight dollars. Now, I actually think it's not even worth buying a radius gauge because you can literally print a radius gauge just like this one or just like the one that you saw in the picture on Maker World, there's so many of them, for a couple cents. Like this one, in fact, costs about 40 cents and that's only because it has color. You could even do one that doesn't even have color and save yourself like 10 cents. And to demonstrate you guys how it works, I'm just gonna measure the radius of this chopstick. So basically, you grab the chopstick and move it along the radius gauge until it fits perfectly into place. Oh, right here on number 16, it fit right into place. So that means that this chopstick has a radius of 16 millimeters. Radius gauges are very helpful, but they're kind of a niche tool sometimes because we aren't really measuring radiuses that much every single day for projects, or at least I am not, maybe you are. So I would just say 3D print one of these tools is not even worth buying a real radius gauge. I didn't actually create this radius gauge. I got it off of Maker World by the creator Stampy Driver, and we're gonna leave his link in the description. Now the next tool we're gonna be looking into is a vise, specifically a mini vise. This is what they look like, and they cost somewhere around 10 to $15. Now, the 3D print that we made is a little mini vise, and it works pretty cool. Now, I think this 3D print is very similar to the clamp we reviewed earlier. If you need a really crazy amount of strength, then you're probably better off just spending your 10, $15 and buying a real vise. But if you need some decent strength, 
but not that crazy amount, then I actually recommend you actually print out a 3D printed vise. And to show you how it works, I'm gonna just clamp this pencil down. So you kind of just put your object, you wanna clamp in the middle, and you just tighten the knob so that it's strong. And it actually clamps really well to surfaces. Like, look at this thing. It is not moving at all. And on top of that, there's other models of vices. Like, maybe you want a bigger vice or an even cooler vice. There's so many models on Maker World. People make them so they attach to desks, so that they're giant, so that they're fractal. The creator of this vice is MS on Maker World. And we're gonna leave his link in the description. So in short, 3D printed tools are pretty effective, but I think they have varying degrees of effectiveness depending on what tool you print. Like this knife is more effective than the actual real knife versus this clamp, which is pretty effective, but obviously it's not gonna be as strong as a real life clamp. But I think the best thing about 3D printed tools is how cheap they are. Like all these tools combined are maybe four to five dollars versus the real life tools, which I think were somewhere around $50 to $70. I wanna remind you, if you have enjoyed this video and it, you found it entertaining or at least helpful, then remember to like and subscribe. Also, watch last week's video where me and Pablo reviewed our 3D printer, the A1 from Bamboo Lab. We'll see you guys next week and we hope you have a happy new year.